Welcome everyone. This is Michael from the Marks Group Live. Happy to be re reviewing working with project templates in Zoho projects. After this video is over, please feel free to email us at support at marksgrouplive.com for any questions on this topic or on anything else Zoho. Also, be sure to rate this class as well, helping out your fellow Zoho users and helping us to improve our video library. Project templates in Zoho allow you to set up default parameters for all new projects that you create in Zoho project. Of course, you don't have to assign a template to a project, but you can have multiple templates and assign them as necessary. If you've managed more than one project, you will likely have developed a set of tasks and techniques that you like to use. You know your tools. So rather than having to reload your toolkit with each new job, Zoho Projects allows you to set up templates that are preloaded for you allowing you to focus on managing your project rather than wrangling your tools. Just a quick note, in case it's not obvious, this lesson is geared toward the project manager, that is, the person who has control over the project management information system. So today, here's what we're going to look at. We're going to look at how to create a template. We're going to learn how to edit, clone, or delete a template. And we're going to set recurring tasks and reminders in a template. Then we're going to create a project based on that template to see how those things work. One quick note, of course, if your screen does not look like mine, don't panic. Different versions of Zoho may have slightly different screens, may look slightly differently. Your installation may be set up differently from mine. If you try to replicate what I'm doing and you get stuck, let us know and we'll see what we can do to help you out. So let's get into it. To create a template in Zoho, you'll find that under, uh, let's see, there we go. You'll find that under the setup menu, under templates. I'm going to create a new template, call it MF test three. I can choose from an existing project as a basis for my template, which is actually kind of neat because this means that after I've used Zoho a couple of times, I may already have a pretty good sense of what I like to, uh, which tools in Zoho I like to use, when I like to invoke them. I like to maybe have figured out when I want to have meetings, that I want to meet with people in a certain uh, sequence at a certain general time frame. So I can base my existing template off of a previous project. Uh, in this case, though, I'm going to start with none. My project overview. Now it's here in the project overview, it's worth noting that this text is going to be visible to users within your organization and to clients, so you have to be a little careful about what you put in here. And remember that this is a template, which means you won't want project specific information here unless they're placeholders. So uh, this is a project to blank. Uh, it was commissioned on date by person. So these are placeholders that I'm putting here. Uh, managed by Michael Friesen from the Marx Group Live. Now this is a rich text editor, so I can do all sorts of good stuff here. I can have a hyperlink that goes to an email address. Group.net. Uh, I can have hyperlinks that go to websites. That's a URL. Uh, and if the spirit moves me, I can even do fun things like having photos such as a logo perhaps or even smileys if that's what my project calls for. For the task layout we'll leave that as a standard layout and I'm going to leave these additional fields blank for the time being. I'll just leave those exactly as they are. Um, as you continue to do your work in Zoho at, pro at projects it may be that you find yourself often using the same sort of information in these fields. Uh, as that happens, 
you might want to start adding content to these blocks. For now, I'm just going to click on Add Project Template. So now, I'm in the project template for MF Test 3. And I can create new milestones. So I'm given the option to do so here. Get client sign off on design. And the duration will be 10 days. Actually, the duration will be one day. And we'll start that after 10 days. I'll set myself as the person responsible. So now I have a milestone. I can also add a task list. Let's see, my task list will be uh, steps for client sign off. And now I'm going to go into that task list and add two tasks. So task name, well, my first task name will be um, meeting one with client for pre-examination uh, of design. Now, I, again, I remind you here that this is a template that you will expect to use for more than one project. So you wouldn't want to put stuff in here that is specific or that you think is going to be specific to any, sp any particular project that you work in. This is stuff that you expect you're going to have to do again and again, which is why you're putting it into a template. So meet with client for uh, design inspection. I'll set the owner of that task to be me for the time being. I'll say we're going to start that after five days. And the duration will be one hour. Now, one of the things that's kind of neat is I can have weekly, um, I can have weekly meetings with my client. And I can say, well, you know what? Let's do this. Let's say my free uh, recurrence is going to be after five occurrences. So I can have a recurring task, which is kind of neat. And I can set it to happen. Um, I can set it for multiple recurrences. So all the way up to an infinite number of recurrences. Actually, I'm going to cancel that. So I'm going to leave that as happening after five days. My priority will be high. And I will add one more task. So I was going to think about that. I don't know why Zoho is thinking about it that long. There we go. All right. And my next task name is going to be um, get final sign off from client. Um, get approval on design. Once again, the owner will be me. Actually, let's do that. Me. And I'm going to set this to start after 10 days. And the duration will be two hours. And it's a high priority task. So this is what I've got. I currently have two tasks here. One of the nice things that Zoho does, one of the really impressive things that we have here is we have for every task, I can add just comments, subtasks, attached documents, uh, which is great when you're documenting your work with your client. You can have a forum where you discuss any particular uh, task. And of course, you've got the Gantt chart here, uh, where you can even set up dependencies among tasks. Um, setting up dependencies is something that we will cover uh, in another class. We'll be looking at leads and lags, uh, and we'll be looking at different types of dependencies. So finish to finish, start to finish, finish to start, and start to start. Uh, all the great tools are here. So I'm going to close that. Right now, I have two uh, tasks, my task list. My task list is steps for client sign off and my associated milestone is 
get client sign off on design. So there are some tasks that I have already created. Um, I'm going to add one more task. Um, um, call project owner. My description will be call owner to confirm project status. And that will be a recurrence. That'll be every day. Set recurrence and after let's say 20 meetings or 20 phone calls and the duration will be a quarter of an hour. So that project that uh, that's currently unassigned. Let me actually see if I can do that. Um, now we'll just leave that as it is. All right, so oh, let me set the owner right there. I'm the owner. Good. All right. So I have a bunch of tasks in here now that should be part of my template. So now, let's see, let's put that away. So now what I can do is I can look at my projects and I go back into setup. Let's look at templates. There's my MF test three template. That's one that I was just working at. Now, if I want to, what I can do there is I can, if I hover over to the left of that, you'll see a pop up. Let me go here. If I hover over to the left of that, you'll see that I can edit a template. I can trash the template or I can clone the template. Uh, what's likely to be happening is that um, as you start to get familiar with templates, you'll discover that certain things that you wanted to have in a template that you thought you needed, you probably don't need. You may find yourself tweaking and tuning your template. So you're, you're likely to clone the template and make changes to it or edit it as you go on from project to project. So this is where we're going to either edit, trash, or clone. I'm just going to go into, let's see, I'm going to click on that. Now, once again, I'm in the template now. I'm not in the an actual project that uses it. I'm in the template. So if I want to create a new project, I'm going to click on projects. I'm going to create a new project. Um, this is audio installation demo template test. And I'll prepend to my initials on that so my fellow trainers know that I'm the one who's created this. And I'll use MF test 3 as my template. The project will start, let's say, on the 19th. Uh, no, let's say it started on Friday, the 12th. There is my template. There's my project overview to demonstrate templates and so on. So I can change that. And now I will add this. Uh, actually, before I add it, I'll point out that these fields down here, as you become uh, more familiar with Zoho projects, you may discover that you like to tune these things as well. I'm going to leave them unmolested for now. Uh, I do suggest that if you haven't looked at our class on uh, getting started with Zoho projects, we some of the things that I'm skipping through here at a fairly uh, speedy clip we cover in much more detail in that class. Zoho tells me it's thinking about this. And now I've got it done. Now it has created the project for me. So, and there's my project overview. Project to demonstrate templates. And there are my milestones. So these are the milestones that I've already created. Get client sign off on design. There's my task list that I created. If I look at tasks, there are tasks that I've already created for this project. So even though, um, even though I haven't actually 
technically started working this project, I can have a set of tasks that are already created for me because I know these are things that I'm going to have to do. I know that I'm going to have to call the project owner. If I'm lucky, it's only once a day. Um, I know that I'm going to have to get final sign off from the client. I know that I'm going to have to meet at least once with a client for the pre-exam. So, so uh, these things that we have to do again and again in our projects uh, to make the projects a reality, these standard uh, tasks and processes, the standard milestones, um, uh, it's entirely possible that once you get really good at projects, you'll be able to anticipate issues and have those uh, part, as part of your template as well. Um, all right, so here's what we've done today. Let's go back. Let's see, we've set the recurring tasks. We've set the reminders in a template. So here's what we've looked at today. Today, we looked at how to create a template. We looked at how to edit, clone, or delete an existing template. And we looked at how to create tasks uh, within and reminders within a template so that once we actually have the template created, we can simply draw upon these pre-existing or these preset uh, tasks and milestones and uh, reminders that we know we're going to encounter. That's it for today's uh, today's class. I do thank you for your time and for, for joining me. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Check out our library for other training videos like this one. If you have any suggestions for other classes, or if you have questions that you may have about Zoho, please email us at support at marksgrouplive.com. And thanks for viewing.